In the present video, I will be explaining the variance and the sample standard deviation that are other two measures of variation. Let's start with the definition. The sample variance is the best estimation of the population variance when we have available only data from a sample. And obviously, the corresponding estimation for the standard deviation is the one that is the one called sample standard deviation. So, I think the definition is in the formula. The formula is like this. For the sample variance, is uh, the sample variance, the symbol will be S squared. So it's similar to the population variance. In the population variance, we have a sigma. Here we have a, an S only. And then will be the sum of the deviation square. The deviation from the mean, now from the sample mean, divided by N minus 1. And here is the difference. In the population variance, we, we divide by N. We, here we are going to divide by N minus 1. And this N, in this case, will be just the sample. In the population, in the population variance, we have here N, the whole population. Eh? So this is small n is what we have here, and it's not going to be n, it will be n minus 1. So that is the way you compute the sample variance, and it's like, like a, a, an average of all the deviation square, but this average when we have only n minus 1 data. So be careful, so at the bottom we have only n minus 1. And the sample standard deviation is just the square root of this of this thing here. So the, the sample standard deviation will be the square root of this. So it, it's better to say the sample standard deviation is the square root of the sample variance. Here is what is everything. X bar is the mean of the sample. N is the sample size. And this x minus x bar square are the square root of the deviations. An example will help you to understand this. We have here two tables that correspond to the fillings in liters of five bottles made by two different machines. And we are going to use the variance and the standard deviation to compare the variation in the two samples. So this is one example where you cannot have the whole population because it's impossible to know the feeling of these two bottles machine in all their life. You know, we have only, we can get just a sample of bottles, but we, we don't know how it's going to be the feeling tomorrow or the feeling the day after tomorrow. So that thing that we cannot take now. So we, the only thing that we can have is a sample. So we cannot get the population variance, but we can get an estimation of the population variance that is the sample variance. So let's see. What is the, the, the sample variance of this? So we know that the, the, this is the formula. The formula is the the sum of all the deviation squared divided by n minus 1. So we need to get what is the deviation from the mean, so we need to get the mean. But we know that the sum of all this is 5, so the mean 5 divided by 5, so the mean we know that is 1 liter. So they are in average, this, this machine, for example, the first one, is filling 1 liter in each bottle. Now we're going to get the observation. For example, in the first bottle, the, the, the machine only filled 0 0.98 liters. So it means that there is a deviation from the real mean. So let's compute the deviation, so the value minus the mean. For doing that, I'm going to make another column here. And in this column, I will be making the deviations. But the deviation is squared immediately. So what I'm going to do with my calculator, I'm going to subtract the value minus the mean, and then the answer I'm going to be a square. I'm going to square the answer. So let's do that. 0.98 minus 1, the answer is 0 0.02, when I square it, it's 0 0.04. 1 
1.02 minus 1, again, the answer is 0 0.02. Now it's positive. In the previous, it was negative, the, the, the deviation. Eh? But when I square it, the answer is again positive, 0 0.04. Here is 1, 1 1.01 minus 1. 1.01 1 .01 minus 1, it will be uh, 0 0.01. So I square 0 0.001. 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 squared is 0, and then 0 0.99 minus 1 is 0 point, or negative 0 0.01. When I square, the answer is positive 0 0.001. The formula said that I need to add all these deviations, so I'm going to add all this deviation, and when I add this deviation square, are zero, the answer is 0 0.001. Zero, eh? So this is the, 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 the sum of all the deviation squares, so that will be the, the, the value that will be here at the top of this fraction. At the bottom will be the number of elements in the sample minus one. So it will be five minus one, four. So it will be the, 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 the sample variance will, will be 0 0.01, that is this sum, divided by 4, n minus 1 is 5, minus 1 is 4. So I do this in my calculator, and the answer for the variance is 0 0.0025 liters. And if you notice, this answer is in liters square. The mean was in liter, but because we were rising, rising everything to the power 2 here, for example, when I make the subtraction 1.02 minus 1, the answer was 0 0.02 liters. But now that I square it, the answer is liter square. So all of these are liter square. So that for that reason, the variance will be lit in liters square. So that gives me an idea of how is the variance, and I can do this in the second in the second machine and compare which one has more variance. However, I prefer to compute now the standard deviation immediately because the standard deviation is just getting the square root of this. Yeah? The standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. So for that reason, it will be okay if I just compute the, standard, the, the square root of this number. Yeah? And the square root of this number is 0 0.0158. Now, the variance was in liter squared, but now the standard deviation, because we are getting the square root of this liter squared, the standard deviation will be liter. This is a better unit to think. Yeah? So I can use also the standard deviation com to compare with the other standard deviation to see which one has more or less variation. Let's see what happened now with the other machine. So again, if you notice, if you add together, this is five liters, so again we have that the mean is one liter. So five divided by five is one liter. So we can start just making the, the immediately the, the, the table or another column to compute the deviations square. So let's do that, and here will be the deviation square. 1 minus 1 is 0, so this deviation at the beginning is 0. So 0 squared is 0. But the second one is 1.11 minus 1 is 0 0.11. 0 0.11 squared is 0 0.0121, yes. Good. 0 0.95, now is the third one. 0 0.95 minus 1 is negative 0 0.05, yeah? When you square is 0 0.0025. Let's see with this. Let's see this one. 0 0.89 minus 1 is negative 0.11. When I square, because I need to square, so I get 0 0.0121 again. So let's type it here. And finally, 1.05 minus 1 is 0 0.05. When I square is again 0 0.025, 0 0.025. When I add together all this number, the answer is 0 point, sorry, 0 0.0292. Good. So we are 
ready to compute the variance. So we have the sum of all the deviation square. And this is in the formula, eh? the sum of the deviation square. So we can we have a number to put at the top. Let's do 0 0.0292, and we divide by n minus 1. n is, was 5, and so n minus 1 is 4. I make this division, and I found that the, the variance is 0 0.073 liters square. Look at that. Now we can use the two variance for the two samples to compare the variation in the two samples. And I noticed that the variation here is a smaller, yeah? 0 0.0025 is a smaller than 0 0.073. So the variance is useful to compare the two variations. Yeah? So I can see that the variation here is smaller. Okay, the only thing that we don't like is this liter square. Yeah? For that reason, we can use, but we, can, we, we should use the standard deviation. However, we can, we can get a conclusion here with the, with this, with, with the variance already. Yeah? Oh, this, the variation here is smaller. But let's compute the standard deviation. The standard deviation is just the square root of this. So the standard deviation will be square root of this number, so it will be a square root of 0 0.073 liter square, and this in my calculator gives me, produces 0 0.0854 liters. So the liter square is now liters. And again, here I can use these two standard deviations to compare the variation. So you look at that, this is a smaller than this, this is 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 will be, this is 0 0.08 or 0 0.09 better, yeah, if we round it to, to two decimal. So this is a smaller than this. Again, here we see that the, the, the variation in the first machine is smaller. Let's solve another example. The data below reflect the number of vacation days that a sample of employees at a certain company have left to take before the end of the year. Find the sample variance and standard deviation. Here is the data. So there are the vacation days that the, uh, the, comp the employees left to take before the end of the year. But be for taking the sample variance, I prefer to see this this data as a column. So let's put it here as a column and then use the formula of the sample variance. And the formula of the sample variance is this. Yeah, remember, this is the sum of the deviations square divided by n minus 1. So the deviations, to compute the deviations, we need to first compute the mean. Yeah? For that reason, let's type here the mean, uh, and we need to add together all the values and divide it by the total number of values. Adding together all the values, let's put this sum at the bottom, and adding together all the values, I get 37. So the mean will be 37 over 8, or better, 4.625. Now I can compute the deviations. The deviations are the numbers minus the mean. So each value minus the mean. So for doing this, for making this computation, it will be a good idea to make another column. So let's make another column here. And let's type here what we are going to do, the value minus the mean, I'm going to square later. Yeah? So in each row, we need to get the value minus the mean and then square the result. For example, in the first row, 2 minus the mean, this is negative 2.625, then I square, and the answer was positive, 0, 6.890625. Now, A minus 4.625, this is 3.375, when I square, the answer is 11.390625. 3 minus this, minus the mean. This is negative 1.625 I square, and the answer is 2.640625. Now 7 minus 4625. This is 2.375 square, 
is 5.640625. 6 minus 4.625, this is 1.375. When I square, the answer is 1.890625. 4 minus 4.625, I'm using my calculator, 0 0.625 negative. But I have square, the answer is positive. Is 0 0.390625. Then here is the same of the previous one, 4 minus the mean, and then a square, this is the answer, and this is the same of this, eh? 3 minus the mean, and then a square, 2.640625. Add together all these numbers to get the sum in the variance. Okay? Adding together is 31.875. This is the number that, that we need to write at the numerator of this fraction. Yeah? So let's type it there. Let's get the variance. The variance will be this number divided by a. Yeah? Sorry, divided by 7 because it's n minus 1. So it will be 31.875 over 5. And this is 4.55. This 4.55 at is not in days. These are the, the, the unit of the of the variable if days. For example, this mean is 4.625 days. But this variance, because we square the values, so this variance will be 4.55 days square. Okay, but how to compute the, the standard deviation? Just to see this again as the original unit in days. Yes, it will be Standard deviation s is equal the square root of the of the variance. Yeah? So equal the square root of this number. Yeah? Square root of 4.55. If I do the, this in my calculator, the answer is 2.13, and that gives you now the the value for the standard deviation. This standard deviation, the Unix will be days. So if somebody asks me what is the standard deviation, I will be answering is 2.13 days. The mean is 4.625 with a standard deviation of 2.13. And that concludes my explanation of these two measures of, of variation. Thank you.